friends, welcome. Welcome to our live demo today of tie-dye paper towels. So I wanted to say hello. My name is Anna Dezingle. I am the author of Steam Play and Learn. Um, I am doing this demo for both my YouTube channel and for Stimola Live, which is my agent, and they are a wonderful uh, group, and so I'm excited to be part of their um, their live, uh, they're doing a whole series of lives with all their authors that they represent. So it's very cool. Uh, I highly recommend you check out their series that they've just started recently. Um, all right, you guys. So welcome. Today we're going to be doing another project from my book, Steam Play and Learn. Steam Play and Learn is a book. It's an activity book. Uh, it has 20 activities for preschool aged kids and above. I wrote it originally with the intention of, you know, is kind of focused more on the preschool aged um, child. However, a lot of the projects are really great for older kids um, or frankly for multi-age groups. So if you have a family at home and you have a various ages, I know I get a lot of comments from readers who say, I don't know how to keep my three-year-old busy with the same pro at the same time as my 10-year-old. And so the projects in my book are really, really good if you are working with kids of multiple ages. Because there's a lot of extensions and things that older kids can do while the younger kid maybe works on one part of the project. All right, but today I'm excited because we're going to be doing one of my very favorite projects from the book. And it's so easy and it makes things that look incredible. So... I am going to turn my camera around and we are going to tie dye paper towels. All right. I want to preface up front that if you paper goods are at a, at a premium right now. So if you do not have a lot of these left, save this project for another day. But if you do have some paper towels that you are willing to, to, uh, to use, I used about three in my in a in another demo I did earlier, and so you don't need too many. Um, but this is a great project, you know, where you want to do a few of them at least. So if you are willing to to spare a few paper towels for this, that would be awesome. Um, and let me go ahead and turn my camera around, and we'll get started. All right, there's my book. Let me turn my lights on. So this is my book, uh, Steam Play and Learn. It's available on Amazon and Bookshop. And like I said, this is a book, when, we, when I wrote this, um, my publisher and I worked on the idea that we wanted kids to really look at this and get excited about the projects. So that's my son. Uh, we wanted you guys to be able to flip, like kids to be able to flip through this and say, oh, I wanna do that. And so there's a lot of really cute illustrations and things like that with the goal of engaging children, not just being a book where a parent flips through, finds the activity and decides, oh, this is what we're doing, but rather the child looks at it and says, hey mom, I wanna do this. So that is our goal with this, this book, and I hope that you will check it out. Okay, this is a sneak peek at what we're doing today. Okay, now I'm going to put that away. <laughs> it's really easy. This project is really easy, and it's really beautiful, and I don't want you to look too long at that because you're going to make your own versions of this. We're going to tie-dye paper towels using food coloring and water. And we're going to limit ourselves. Well, we don't have to, but in this case, um, in order to get a lot of steam uh, learning out of this, limiting yourself to the three primary colors also turns this into a little bit of a color mixing exercise. So, if you want, you can grab some cups, grab, fill them with a little bit of water, and then put a really good a uh, squeeze of food coloring in them, okay? And we're gonna mix up the three primary colors. Whoops, sorry about that. Just wanna make sure you can see all my primaries, great. Okay, and if you have handy, whoops, if you have pipettes handy, great, grab those. Though I realize most of you probably don't. Most of you are not a teacher or a creative, necessarily a, a somebody that does a ton of creative, um, maybe you do creative projects, but having pipettes is a little bit of a specialty thing. Uh, also, there's a lot of noise around my neighborhood right now, just, just pointing that out for you. <laughs> so if you don't have pipettes, grab a straw 
and you can go ahead and cut your straw to about this length and we can make a makeshift pipette out of a straw, all right? So basically, let me review one more time. You're gonna need your food coloring, your kind of DIY water, liquid watercolors. You're gonna need some paper towels and you're gonna need a straw or a pipette. Also, if you have a tray, grab it. This is a liquid project, so there's definitely going to be, it's gonna be messy. So whatever surface, if you need to protect the surface below, a tray is a great way to do that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to take one of my paper towels and I have the choose your own size. So I have the kind of uh, the rectangular sized, um, but use whatever you have, grab a section of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to start folding this, okay? Now here's where the math in this project comes in. And let me just back up a minute. If you aren't familiar with what STEAM stands for, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And it's really a type of, uh, it's, it's a sort of an educational concept that talks about projects that blend disciplines. So instead of looking at a project and saying, oh, this is, this is just art, and we only do math in this project or this worksheet, STEAM projects really try to bridge the subjects and incorporate two or more of the subjects into each of them. And that way I think it sticks more. Um, I'm a designer by trade, so for me, um, this is how designers work. We, we, when we work on projects, we take a lot of information and we sync it all together and create something from that. So in this case, we're gonna be doing a little bit of art, math, and we're gonna learn some science along the way. So when we fold these, what we're doing is we're creating an axis. And this is where this comes in is the concept of symmetry. Symmetry is in math, symmetry is in art. But in math, what it means is you have one line on which either side is reflected. The same image or drawing is reflected on either side of the axis, like a mirror image, okay? So every time we fold our paper towels in this project, we're basically creating different axes. And we're creating these mini kind of uh, symmetrical images when we start adding color to this. Now, when you're folding it, try to fold it as tight as you can. Okay. That'll get you the best, uh, it'll give you the best results. And also we're gonna try to fold this as much as we can, okay? So the more times you fold this, the better. Now, Paper towels, let's talk a little bit about the science in this project. Paper towels are made from trees. Trees and other paper products absorb water, and in this case, they're gonna absorb our liquid water colors um, through a process called capillary action, which is where water will flow through all the cells in these, and it will basically flow through the material, even against gravity a lot of times. So, as we drop, and I'm gonna show you how to use the straw right now as a makeshift pipette. As we drop the, the, the dye on here, it's going to spill out and get absorbed through other fibers in the paper towel, through, through it and, and around. So it's gonna spread out and through. So to use this as a makeshift pipette, you're gonna basically take your straw, you're gonna dip it in, Put your finger on the end and now you've collected some ink in here or some dye some paint and we're going to drop it on okay that's how you do that if you do not have pipettes and we're going to basically we are going to color our i have got so much action in this neighborhood today now i got a helicopter above <laughs> Always, uh, I'm, I'm coming to you from Los Angeles, so we, we get quite a bit of helicopters around here. All right, so now you see I've, I've done it on one side. I've added a lot of color. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna add color to the other side. And this is where we get some color mixing happening. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use the pipette so you can see how those work. Um, if we're just using our primary colors, we end up getting now secondary colors start appearing. So suddenly I've got orange where my yellow and red are combining and I've got green where my blue and yellow are combining. 
it's pretty cool, right? So there's a lot, this is what I mean by STEAM projects. There's a lot of layers of learning that you can get out of a single project. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our paper towel. And so we're opening it back up along all those axes that we created, and we're seeing symmetrical images. Okay, so now what you're seeing here is the mirror image along each axis, right? So I only put one drop of that blue, and now I've got four drops on this design, and it's probably gonna open up to be eight. Look at that. So cool, right? And I'm starting to see my secondary colors appear. Very cool. Okay, so that's one. Cool, let's make another one. Let's change it up and do it with a slightly different um, fold. All right, so let's, this time I'm gonna fold it in more of a rectangular pattern, okay? So again, I'm folding these, I'm creating an axis point on each, uh, each of these folds becomes an axis. I shouldn't say point because a point is actually, that would be a point, this is the axis. Uh, here we go. We're going to keep folding and folding as tight as we can. <laughs> Maybe I'll do one last triangular fold if I can at the end. Why not? Let's see what we get. Okay, let me show you another way you can do this project. So I know that I told you to get the straws and do this as a drop the ink on the paper towel project. You also can dip this in the paint okay the only thing i want you to be to be clear on in advance of dipping is that paper towels because they're absorbing water through that process of capillary action when you dip it into a lot of water this paper towel is going to soak it right up like really fast so when you drop a little bit on you have a lot more control over how much dye you're putting on but when you dip it it just so sucks it up really fast so since we don't want to end up with a muddy, muddy uh, image at the end or, or art piece at the end, we only want to dip for a very brief moment, okay? Because it's going to soak it up fast, okay? So you saw, I just dipped that really fast, okay? Look at that. If you leave it in too long, trust me, <laughs> it will be muddy. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more on there. And let's see what we get. So it's your choice on how you want to do it. I wanted to show you the more controlled version first, and now we'll see. Now this one, the nice thing about the dipping version is that you get a lot of color. So as long as you can control that, oh, look at that, it looks so good. <laughs> as long as you have some control over how long you dip it in, you can get some really beautifully saturated designs. Look at that, oh. Now, if you don't know about tie-dye, you guys, that is awesome. Now I'm clearly seeing all the symmetrical designs on these axes. Look at that, that's awesome. If you don't know about tie-dye design, it's a process that was very popular in the 60s, and um, I'm a big fan of everything from the 60s, and where you fold, um, you know, you fold up fabric or t-shirts, and then you wrap them with rubber bands, and then you dip them in dye, and you get these really gorgeous patterns. Um, it's a pretty involved process, and that's why I like this project as a sort of introduction to the magic that is tie-dye without really getting too complicated. And we're using a really simple material like paper towels. So if you don't like your design, no big deal. <laughs> Do it again. Sometimes when you've worked a lot on a tie-dyed shirt and you don't care for the final design it's like oh I spent all that time <laughs> and it didn't turn out like I wanted all right I want to show you one last thing so yesterday in my I do I'm doing live demos this week on my own YouTube channel babble dabble do and I'm featuring all projects from my book here comes the helicopter again and yesterday we did a project called color mixing lab I'm gonna let that pass And this is how you know you're on a live because there's all kinds of fun stuff happens without any, you have no control over. Um, so we did Color Mixing Lab, which is a project where we use the same dyes, right? 
to mix up as many colors as possible into like our own DIY paint palette. So I thought, I saved my colors from yesterday and I'm gonna go ahead and use them to tie dye the last towel that I have here, okay? So I'm gonna move this guy to the side. I'm trying not to layer these because they will soak up more dye. So let me move this. All right. So again, if you if you like this project and you wanna check out more projects from my book, you can be on the, on the Babble Dabble Do channel this week. I have all my projects and if you do the color, uh, the color mixing lab, you should save your colors because then you can use them for the tie dye towels. I love when I can like find multiple uses for projects. So I never like to make things go to waste. All right, so I'm doing some fancy, fancy <laughs> folds right now. I don't know what we're gonna get, but that's the fun of this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my colors that I mixed yesterday and I'm gonna dip them so I got more of a yellowy orange I've got a green so this in this one I'm not really doing the color mixing so much as I'm just using the colors that I created yesterday and let's do red let's do a deep red all right all right let's see what we get with this one Ooh, I like that yellow that orangey yellow Turned out really good. Fun. Look at that, how cool. It's hard to make just one of these, I have to say. Oh, I like that design, that's cool. Um, <coughs> you guys, so if you make this, you can go ahead and let these dry and then you could tape them together into like a really pretty paper quilt because they would look gorgeous. They would look absolutely gorgeous taped together and displayed somewhere. All right, I am gonna go ahead and turn my camera around and come back to ya. All right, thanks for, uh, <laughs> we had a lot of interruptions today, um, which is totally fine. All right, you guys, so, um, like I said, this video is gonna be, is here on both my YouTube channel and on Stamola Live's YouTube channel. Subscribe to both, okay? We got good stuff for you and we'd love to see you back again. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's project from my book, Steam Play and Learn. So I will drop some more links as well below to my book where you can find it on Amazon and Bookshop. And I hope that you will take a look and uh, if you like it, I hope you'll purchase it. But in any case, I'm glad to be able to share projects with you guys um, from my book. And I hope to see you back again. All right, take care, you guys.